Hi, I'm Greg, a product engineer at Crucial. Welcome to our tutorial on how to install a PCIe Gen 5 Crucial T700 NVMe M.2 SSD. In this video, we'll walk you through the required steps on how to install this type of SSD in your computer. Let's get started. Step one, check your motherboard compatibility. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your motherboard is PCIe Gen 5 compatible. You can do this by referring to the user manual or by going to the motherboard manufacturer's website. You want to look for information on the M.2 slots, particularly if they support PCIe Gen 5 protocol. Even if they don't, you can still use a T700, you just won't be able to achieve the same speeds as you would with a Gen 5 motherboard. Step two is preparing your workspace. We recommend before starting the installation process to make sure that you have a clean, well-lit working area. We recommend using an anti-static mat or wristband to prevent causing any damage to components from an electrostatic discharge. Also make sure that you have all the correct tools that you will need, which will include a screwdriver and of course the drive that you're going to install. Step three is to identify the appropriate Gen 5 M.2 slot on your motherboard. The best way to do this is to refer to the user manual. Some slots might not be Gen 5 capable, and so to maximize the performance of your T700, you want to ensure that you're inserting it into a Gen 5 capable slot. Step four is to remove the onboard included heatsink. You'll want to refer to your user manual for the location and the removal process of that heatsink. Typically, they're secured with a couple of screws, so you'll need a screwdriver for this step. And it's very common for these heat sinks to actually cover multiple M.2 slots. Typically, Gen 5 slots will have some sort of thermal pad on the bottom where the drive will sit, and that thermal pad will have a plastic cover over the top. It'll be important that we remove that plastic cover prior to installing the SSD. Step five is inserting and securing the T700. So we'll want to insert the M.2 at about a 30 degree angle and ensure that the notch in the connector aligns with the notch in the socket. We'll push down the back of the SSD and there's two ways this could secure to the motherboard. Some motherboards utilize a small screw, which will be included with the motherboard. Some of the newer Gen 5 motherboards have a Q-latch mechanism. The Q-latch mechanism is a rotating plastic piece that we can simply rotate over, and that will secure the SSD in place. If your motherboard does use a screw, be sure you're not over-tightening that screw when you apply it. Now that we have the T700 installed and properly secured with the Q-latch, we're gonna reinstall the top plate of the heatsink. Now this is very important because the SSD will not function properly without the thermal dissipation that the top plate of the heatsink provides. You'll wanna look on the underside of that top plate and remove the plastic covering over the thermal pad. This will be identical to what we did previously on the bottom. Now, once that is removed, we will re-secure the top plate with the screws. And there you have it. That's how you install the Crucial T700 SSD in your computer. Remember to always reference your motherboard user manual. And if you have any additional questions and need additional instructions on formatting your new SSD, setting it as your boot drive, or cloning your data, please see our full library of tutorials and instruction videos. Thank you for watching.